everyone. This is Doxy Mom and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't done so already, I'd greatly appreciate if you hit that little red subscribe button. You can ring the bell for notifications and if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Well, Miss Indy and I, we're here to bring you the news in 15 minutes or less, so let's get started. Well, I'm sure that you've all heard by now that Adam Schiff, chairman of the House Intel Committee, knew about the whistleblower complaint before it was filed, and President Trump even suggested that Adam helped the whistleblower write the complaint. Now, according to the Washington Examiner, whistleblowers often go to members of the House Intel Committee for help with this process. However, when this whistleblower, with second-hand knowledge, came forward to Adam, Adam did not inform the committee of the complaint. Instead, he withheld the knowledge of the complaint from Congress, then he used cable news to leak the complaint to the general public, and then he lied about his knowledge of the complaint to the press, and then he used his post as chairman of the committee to twist and turn DNI Joseph McGuire's testimony into a hot mess instead of exploring the contents of the complaint like he should have done. So, now... The Republicans, uh, the Republican side of the House, they have written a letter to Adam Schiff pretty much demanding that Adam uh, resign as the chairman of the House Intel Committee. Now, that letter was read just yesterday on Thursday to the committee by Representative Conaway. Well, of course, Adam just starts talking Russia, Russia, Russia because... He's an evil deep state rat that needs to be in Gitmo. Now, all I can say is that Adam, he won't have to resign from the committee since he'll soon be behind bars. So, TikTok Adam and I'll leave a link. Moving on. Now, Eric Trump. He was on Fox Business with Lou Dobbs and I'll link that. And guys, this is an excellent interview. But Lou starts out talking about Joe Biden's son, you know, Hunter, and how he got one and a half billion dollars from China just weeks after he accompanied his daddy on a trip to Beijing. Well, Eric starts out by saying, could you imagine if I took three cents from Ukraine or four cents from China? It's unbelievable. And guys, he's absolutely right. What a double standard there is right now in the media. And Eric, well, he goes on to say that it's unimaginable that this board in Ukraine would hire Hunter Biden, who cannot speak the language, knows nothing about energy business, has a major drug problem, and got kicked out of the Navy. Now, guys, they are paying him $50,000 a month for I don't know what, and then $1.5 billion from the Chinese. What's really going on here? Hmm. Then they talk about how so many agencies, foreign and domestic, have been working against our wonderful president. So, here's your daily reminder to pray for President Trump and his family and all the members of the, the White Hats and the military and everyone who's surrounding our wonderful president that's trying to fight for our country. But Eric, he then brings up Loretta Lynch and Bill Clinton in that infamous uh, tarmac meeting. And Lou says, and I believe Andy wants down, Lou says that many people don't even know who Loretta Lynch is now because she hasn't uh, even been considered for investigation by anyone. Now, Lou, maybe he isn't following our favorite Anon 17 because 17's brought up Loretta Lynch many times. And my guess is, is that one of those federally sealed indictments has Loretta's name on it. Then Eric mentions how we are winning on every front. The Dems know it, and they want to distract from that because President Trump, well, he's brought back jobs. He's brought back patriotism to our wonderful country. And the Dems, they just can't win. Biden can't win because he's a crook. And Warren, she can't win because she's a liar. So, what do the Dems have to do? They have to make up another nonsense story, and those were his words, and my words too, but not nonsense is right. 
Then Lou says it's stunning how they've tried to overthrow the President of the United States. And this has been going on for three years against our President and against our country. Now, President Trump is an anti-establishment populist president who supports the working man and woman and supports the middle class and he threatens the deep state's very existence and they know it. And in my opinion, they are terrified. Now, they are desperately trying to do anything and everything in their power to get our wonderful president out of office. And guys, that's just not going to happen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, Lou finishes the interview by saying that this impeachment inquiry is blowing up right now in the Dems' faces because the American people, well, they're watching all this and they aren't dumb. And then Eric closes by saying that people are sick and tired of this nonsense. There's that word again. And we're going to beat them again. And guys, he is absolutely right. So, like I said, I'll leave a link. Now, the Gateway Pundit, they're reporting that Kurt Volker, and a former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, well, his name appeared in the whistleblower's complaint against President Trump uh, dealing with Ukraine's. So, Kurt, well, yesterday he testified in front of the House Intelligence, Foreign Affairs, and Oversight Committees on Thursday, and as uh, the Dems first key witness in the impeachment inquiry. Hmm. Since the interview is private, Congressman Jim Jordan, well, he came out and he, you know, we all love Jim Jordan, don't we? Well, he told the reporters that Volcker had said nothing that coincides with what the Democrats are saying with their whole impeachment narrative. So, there you go. This whole impeachment thing, well, it's just a distraction and it's going to blow up in the Democrats' faces and I'll leave a link. Now, I want to read a tweet from Juanita Broderick that says, We are now being referred to as a cult because of our loyalty to the, to the man who has turned America around and made our lives better. Well, I call us proud American patriots. And that's exactly what I call us too, Juanita. So thank you for that tweet. And I'm going to end with Psalm 33 verses 1 through 5. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make music to him on the ten-stringed lyre. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. Well, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for tuning in. Please share my content. It's free. And until next time, this is Doxy Mom, and God bless you all.